we in the media, and this includes ex-players like yourself, say, players want to win things, so Harry Kane needs to leave Spurs to win things. Harry Kane's too good to stay there and not win things. And whenever I hear that, I would love to have Alan Shear, Francesco Totti, Matt Letizia, all of them go around to these people's houses and say you're talking nonsense because us winning where we want is worth a lot more. But I want to ask you where you stand because you came through the ranks at mm -hmm. a big club. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Um, I think the Harry Kane example, I feel like there's more pressure on him from the outside than probably him putting on himself because for Spurs, even though they haven't won anything, they've been to a Champions League final, they've been to other cup finals, and I think they have ultimately failed in terms of their pursuit of a league title. But at this stage of his career, he could have had three or four trophies already. But we only we talk about them as if they don't even make finals or don't even make anything. They are falling at the final hurdle, but they're not that bad a team. And if things maybe would have gone their way at certain points, then great. But yeah, I'm... This move, you could say he wants to go here, wants to go wherever, and obviously the financial climate in terms of football kind of limits where he can go anyway. But there's no guarantee that the places he goes guarantee him trophies anyway. No, so uh, he's, got, City, no he's got he's, he's got, got, he's got, got more Bayern, chances. I mean, yeah, he's got more chances in certain clubs than we've got. More, he's got more chances, but it's not it's not a guarantee, right. especially given the fact that for his style of play now as well, he's probably not suited to every club as well. So for him, he's playing for Spurs, who theoretically are a team who want to achieve things. It's, it's tough. Right. Spurs are a long way away from Man City right now, but then in the same breath, in a couple of years' time, who's to say that the gap might not be close because things do change within the game? But All it's right. going to cost someone a lot of money, and ultimately, I don't know who can afford it. The, the thing with Kane, and I think it's a great debate, because the, the difference with Alan Shearer, Alan Shearer had won before going to Newcastle, for example, and then didn't win anything, but at least he had won before. Harry Kane hasn't won before, hasn't won anything. Uh, is that himself said three years ago, that interview on Sky, he said, if in three or four years' time I haven't won anything with this club, I'd be very disappointed. So in a sense... Of course he's disappointed. He wants to win. Doesn't mean he says like, oh, if I don't win in three years, I'm going to leave. No, 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 no. But, but there's a difference between, you know, what his individual you... ambition is and what he feels the club's ambition is as well. Nedham is right. You get to finals, it's good. But if you, if you go into finals that you can't win anywhere, like the one on Sunday, at some point he might feel frustrated and he might think, you know what? It would be good one day to be in a final where we actually are the favorite with my team. Yeah, it would be good, but what's even better? And look, I maybe I'm still stuck in this romantic thing because I've had, I've been fortunate to I've met people who had the privilege of being fans as well as professional footballers and play for the club that they love. But I like the idea that simply playing for the club you support as a kid and the club that you intensely love while also, you know, performing for England, breaking records and having a tremendous football career, which he is having, yeah. is worth more to you than to go off to join a, another super club, a bigger super club, and simply win stuff as a passenger. But if he feels that he can't win as Spurs. You know, I, look, it's his decision, right? But I, I just want to know, do people put a value on that, Nadim? I mean, if, if, you, if you have your club that, that you support, I mean, should we mock that? Should we go and criticize it where he lacks ambition? I mean, I would understand it no. if he left. But all I'm saying yeah. is, can we also just leave the guy alone and say, no, you know we... what? You've provided for your family. You play for the club you love. It means more. It means more in a way that some of these freaking mercenaries who jump from club to club to club <laughs> to, to go not, and win stuff, that don't It's given don't them understand. seven years of his career already. He's not a mercenary. He's given them a I'm lot not saying of time he's a and a lot of goals. I'm saying that's something to be applauded. If people want to make different choices, that's fine. But can we get off his back saying you need to leave to win stuff? Yeah. Um, I, th I think it does matter to him because if they, if they were winning these things, he's doing it as captain. He's lifting the trophy. He becomes a club icon to the whole, to like a ne the next level, higher than what he is now because the goals themselves, you know, they count. But the pictures of, say, somebody lifting a trophy and you say, that's you, that's your legacy. You help make that happen. I think that does matter a lot to him. But the, the issue that he has is that when you talk about him, you compare him to other players who have that type of goal record and they all play for clubs who are winning things. So Spurs themselves, they just don't match up. And I, to, I was, I'll retract something I said a, a, just a little while ago because I talked about Spurs making it to cup finals. But ultimately, I think other teams, as we're seeing this weekend, we're looking at, say, Leicester, or in a few, month, a few weeks, looking at Leicester in the cup final or, say, the fact Southampton could have qualified for the cup final. 
I don't think that necessarily confirms that you are a great side. And I think the distance between Spurs and what Man City are, what City, what Liverpool were, and things like that, I think that's a bigger concern. I think that is a far bigger concern because he seems like he's too good to be playing for a team who aren't one of the best teams because his quality or otherwise, you know, is essentially at times he feels like he's a one man team, you know, or you could argue him and son they're, they're, you know, they're invaluable to Spurs and what they want to achieve, but what Spurs want to achieve and what they can achieve seem to be two completely different things. And I think in an ideal world, he'd love to stay and be there. And he, you know, he has clubs, other clubs interested, maybe who are of a higher prestige level and all that good stuff. But, I don't know. We can't leave well, him alone because he's like for his goal record, he's in the top tier. So you have to contend. You contend that you bring talk about the top tier players and the places where they're playing and the places where they can go. And unfortunately, Spurs are not part of that conversation right now. This is not Matt Letizia. You know, this is the England captain. This is this is he's one of the top five right. best strikers in the world, and he's been for five six years. So I think it, you, I know you want you you want that debate to stop. But I think it's just a natural debate for himself. For, it's for fine us. to have the debate. It's to say to attack him and say he lacks ambition if he turns down moves. No. That's that. That to me is uncomfortable. No, but and what, what's way, ambition? He wants to win, right? He okay, wants to win. Everybody, every player, yeah, whatever level, solution. wants to win, right? Perfect. Yeah, no, but you you want to win. You want to try your hardest. You understand you can't win. And if you play for a smaller team, that might mean more to you. You know, yeah, avoiding relegation finish, might mean more to okay. you than going to win at a team that's going to win whether you're there or not. Okay, okay. You're not going to move the okay, needle. Okay, So imagine he sees his friend John Stones when he's at the Euros with him, mm -hmm. okay? John Stones has won the, the, the triple, the treble. So the Champions League he's won, he's won the Premier League, and he's won the League Cup now. They have a chat in the room. Yeah. Harry Kane and Spurs finished eighth in the Premier League and lost right. another final. What, how do you think that conversation okay. will go? What, well, what is what? Hurricane going to ask John Stones? I don't care what how you ask him, but he could also but say, no, he will hey, John Stones, if you weren't there, right? If you, if you disappeared in a puff of smoke and Emmerich Laporte had played all those games in your place, would you still, would City still have won pretty much? And look, so But Hurricane is not going to go year. anywhere to sit on the bench. He will start every game. But that's what I mean. They're already winning without him. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just, this just, this just gets me. And it goes back <laughs> yeah. to when I heard Graham Souness diss Totti and say, nah, that's oh, where it comes from, Nadam, you see? He would have gone, if he would be playing for exactly. Roma, but he wouldn't be playing for Roma. And I would have said, you know what? I wish Alan Shearer would just show up and that's, just turn you into a little puddle of oil, Graham. That's the scar. <laughs> that's where, that's, where, that's where you've been scarred. Um, you've been scarred. Um, let's move on to, let's move on to something else. And, oh, sorry, before we move on, let me all point out. All this becomes moot, right? Because he is the England captain, as you said, and all England needs to do in the next 18 months or two years or whatever it is, win the Euros and win the World Cup. Then he scratched that itch. He's got pictures of himself holding up a much bigger trophy than he could that's ever at club true. level. That is very true. And then true. it's all and, done. And Spurs would have won the World Cup in the Euros. Indirectly. The way West Ham won the World exactly. Cup in 66. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.